Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to briefly talk about data center activation coordination mode and in short DAC, DAC. Now data center activation coordination is disabled by default in Exchange and you have to enable it on a DAG that has two or more members in it. If it doesn't have two in or doesn't meet the requirements, you'll get an error, right? Which I will show you shortly. So DAC mode basically is there to prevent a split brain scenario. Uh, in short, basically Active Manager stores bits in memory. So whether it's a zero or one, and it will tell the DAG whether it's allowed to mount the databases. In short, um, if you want to, to read more about this, you can go to the Microsoft uh, Docs and read it. It's, it's quite a long article. It'll take you a couple of minutes to read, but that's the gist and the short of it. Now, to enable DAC mode can only be done from the Exchange Management Shell, EMS. So I'm going to show you here in this example, I, I've got a database availability group. So the first thing is to show you is that I do have a DAG. Now you'll note that I don't have any members. So the command will give us um, an error. But to basically set it, you would go set hyphen database availability group, the name of your group, so minus identity of the name, uh, minus data center activation mode and then you would select DAG only. Now because I don't meet the requirements of minimum of two members you'll see that it will fail saying cannot be set since it contains fewer than two mailbox servers. Now just take note that if you are running DAC mode on a DAG with only two members it does have limitations, which is listed in the Microsoft documentation. So just go and read on about that and make sure that you understand it. But this example was pretty sh to give you a brief understanding and to show you how to enable it and also to view the error if you don't meet the requirements. And that is deck mode. And thank you very much for watching.